Toronto Raptor fans. This year, you know, just may, just maybe make the playoffs. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. You know, have a decent team together. You got some decent rookies. You got Rudy Gay, DeMar DeRozan, Terrence Ross, you know, Landry Fields. You, you got a decent team together. Now, what this team does in the what this team does in the regular season, how it works together, and how it works as a group, and how the coaching staff can get it together. You know, we'll see how it goes. We uh, we'll see if there's any trades made or anything like that. I I would assume there might be one or two moves or something like that, but this team. This team's uh, more built for the future. It could go, it could jump into the uh, the eighth spot, seventh, eighth spot. I personally doubt it. I don't think they're going to be that good. I think they're going to be probably fourth in their division, uh, right above the 76ers and right under the Celtics. I I just don't think they have what it takes this year. Now, I mean, I could totally be wrong. I'm just going off of what. I see in the talent I pick out. They do have they do have a lot of talent on this team, but I don't think they're just gonna pick up and just go with it right on the ball. I mean they they might, but I don't think so. They I mean they they brought in a lot of people this year. Hasbro, he actually looked like a beast in the preseason. I except for that one where he went up against uh Metal World Peace where he uh, kinda of backed down real quick. I mean he, you know, no one really knows what he said, but it looks like he said he's like, oh, like he was backing off. But you know, who knows? I I don't think Tyler Hasbro is, you know, that type of guy who would back down from any a lot of players. But maybe who knows? But he's a big pickup for him. Novak is a really big pickup for him. Augustine is another one. I don't know. A lot of people like Augustine, but he's kind of just a journeyman. He's he's a decent off the bench player. He is what he is, but for this team, I mean, it's this is going to help this team a lot. I mean, you, you got Day. He he probably won't see a whole lot of floor time, but he's good to have on the bench. So I just don't think with all these moving pieces coming around. I don't see him jumping on there and making the uh, playoffs. They lost Bargnani. He went to the Knicks. That's how they got Steve Novak. But I mean, you never know. So with this team, I'd probably give them a, another two years. Two years and they'll be in the playoffs. And then maybe a year after that, maybe two or three years, they'll be competitive. Maybe trying to push to be a, a contender. They probably won't get it. They'll probably have to move a bunch of more pieces and pick up some picks and stuff like that to get to where they want to go. But, I mean, you never know. Something could happen. They could move up. Or, or if if they don't make the playoffs this year, they could pick up a decent pick. I'm, I don't think they're – they're not bad enough to be a lottery pick – or a lottery team. So I, they're going to be right on – right in the middle. They're going to be like – 10, or somewhere around there, 8, 9, or 10. It'll be somewhere around there. They are prob- they want to make the playoffs, probably, because any one of those teams that are around there, they know they're too good to be a lottery team, but they're not good enough to make the playoffs. So I, a lot of people just say, oh, don't even try. Just don't make the playoffs. Well, if you know you're not going to be a lottery team, why not make the playoffs? I mean, your your picks are only going to be one or two spots higher. I mean, it's not a huge difference. I mean, you want to have give your fans something to cheer about, or just you know, like hey, another losing season. They the team might push it and go for it. I mean, it, I think they would, but who knows? They might not have enough. I mean, they have, well, they have the talent, so they can do it. But who knows if they will or not? Let me know what you think about this team.